It's December 7th, and this week, Dr. V and I head down to Pearl Harbor to learn about all kinds of interesting bugs and insects. That's right, the team from the Navy Environmental and Preventive Medicine Unit 6 has a collection of thousands of insects from around the world, and they use them to study and, well, how to help uh, service soldiers out in the field. Oh, Dr. V, Dr. V, what, what are you doing right there? Is that a live bug? Well, I caught this carpenter bee, <laughs> and I'm trying to figure out where to mount on this panel, and I mounted all these things before. Now, you didn't do all this work, right, did you? Well, you don't believe me, right? Well, no, that's why I have the Lieutenant Heinchel here to tell us what's going on, and how do you go about preserving these unique insects? Well, there's a couple different techniques we can use. Uh, as you see here, we have several pinned specimens, mm -hmm. and then we have a few preserved in alcohol. Okay. So, there's different guidelines on when you use which technique, but we can go through that and I can show you exactly how to pin these insects and how you would spread these that have bigger wings. All right, Dr. V, I got some insects for you, but now comes the next most important step, right? Right, and Lieutenant said he's going to teach me how to pin the um, you know, bees on the, on the mound. So I think what I'm trying to learn is this is carpenter bee and I, li I want to pin it down. Okay. So what do you do? So then the next step is you select your pin. Okay. We use these nice stainless steel pins here okay. so they don't rust. And for the placement of the pin, you want to get it on the right half of the insect. Okay. And up to the, uh, in the thorax. Okay. Right. Wow. About it here. just pushes it right there. Right in. And once you get it on the pin, you want to make sure it's lined up straight on the pin. You don't want it tilting right, left, up, down. True. So you want it as straight as possible. Now, Lieutenant, why is it important for the right side? You were saying to preserve the left-hand side of, of the insect, is that correct? Yes, because the pin is obviously going to damage the insect, but we want one side of the insect intact, pristine, so if we do need to go back and look at the morphology of the insect, then it's it's clear it's not damaged or anything's broken. Now, as Dr. V continues his uh, kind of process here, can you tell us real quickly why this is kind of very, very important, especially for people here in Hawaii? Well, we want to document insects that are in the ecosystem. Uh -huh. And so when we do those collections, we get a representation of what's out there at that point in time. So anyone, any researcher can come back at a later date and say, yes, this species of insect existed in Hawaii in, in this year, this time frame. Okay. So we can possibly identify invasive species that may come onto the island. Very cool. Now i got to ask you, how did Dr. V do? So I, well, thought, I think I, I got it straight, and now I think I have to label it. It looks very good. And I think so you've been practicing. <laughs> yeah, and I have the label ready here, and I think the next step is to put it on the label. Yes, and you want to orient the label the same direction as the insect, Yeah. and get it right there in the middle, and possibly damage the insect. I, think I learned something new. I think you got an A+. Plus. Very, very good, Dr. Thank v. you so much. Thank you, Lieutenant, for showing us this, and again, thank you for joining us here on Sunrise on Hawaii News Now. All right, always fun to head down to Pearl Harbor. Thank you very much to the wonderful people and servicemen down by the, uh, well, Pearl Harbor Naval Area. Now let's get quickly into traffic because December 7th, it is 